Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome back to Last Night Survival. So today we'll be opening up once again a few purple crates. So first of all, guys, don't open up those purple cards because before they were a lot better when we didn't have like that arena event or when we weren't getting any purple blueprints from the season pass but now you can get these purple blueprints from the season pass you can get these three extremely rare weapon mods without the pass so that is awesome plus if there is an arena event you can get a few of those purple blueprints from the arena so you shouldn't be wasting your guns just open up those purple cards so don't waste your blue cards don't exchange them for purple unless you know what you're doing and you want to exchange them like you don't have to listen to me i'm just giving here advice for those that don't know everything about last and earth survival and i'm not saying that i know everything but you got the point if you are a new player don't waste your blue for purple but if you're an advanced player you already know what to do you don't need my advice for that but i am going to be opening up a few purple cards today we're going to be clearing 99 waves and i already have here three blue i have here 25 green so who knows maybe i will exchange some of those green for blue and we'll see how many purple we can open up so i'll try to open up at least one purple card but yeah, uh, before we do that, we have to do a few raids. And in order to begin our first raid here of the day, all we have to do is just craft a stack of first aid kits. So let's just do that. Let's get here three stacks of bandages. Let's get some alcohol and let's get rolling, ladies and gentlemen. And yeah, to those that have just joined to the stream while I'm crafting these first aid kits here. Welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. Glad to see all of you here. Hopefully you're having a great day. And to those that are watching this live stream after it's over, then make sure to head to the pinned comments down below. There you will find timestamps, and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker with those timestamps, like us clearing and opening up crates at the transport hub, us opening up those purple crates, doing raids, and all of the other stuff. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you're using those timestamps. And uh, yeah, welcome once again to all of those that are watching the live stream live here now. Welcome, welcome. Glad to see you all over here, and we've just crafted a stack of first aid kits that will be enough for the raid right totally i mean enough for the raiders because we already have enough first aid kits for the raid you got the point ladies and gentlemen that's it let's tell raiders to skedaddle from the base and before we even go for the raid we have a few more things to do you guys always say sayak do you grind in the settlement and yes guys we do grind in the settlement little by little we do grind there so let's not forget about it let's fire up the workbenches there so let's get a little bit of charcoal let's get some iron um all righty let's get that let's get wait i think i've done something wrong i started smelting those iron bars that's not what i wanted to do there we go that's a lot better ladies and gentlemen that's a lot better let's go here GT Kappa says, why purple crates again? Why not? Like, give me at least, like, 60 reasons why I wouldn't open up purple crates again, GT Kappa. Why wouldn't I open them up? Exactly! You can't come up with a reason, because there is no reason to not open up those purple cards. For the content. The short answer is for the content. Okay, let's get the daily loot from Expeditions. We can get here 11 of these things. We can... Wait, I want to check how many rubber hoses we got. We got only six of them here. That's not a lot. That is not a lot. Uh, let's now buy a few of these things. Let's trade, actually. These cards for mercenary contracts. There we go. Let's open up three of those mercenary contracts. We've just gotten tags here. We've just gotten stripes, whatever they're called. <sighs> not kind of what the doctor ordered, but whatever we could maybe upgrade connor even a little bit still to a higher level to try to progress further which maybe that's what we should do wait i want to know if i add all of these universal stripes whoa i can actually get four more levels for connor and i'm sure he'll have a lot more health so maybe maybe we will do that ladies and gents maybe we will actually upgrade upgrade connor today and maybe we will do some more expeditions perhaps that will be the thing that we do today. But we'll see all of that stuff a little bit later as we have a raid waiting for us. No, wait, no. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. That's a lot better. Now let's drop those pine beams. Let's drop those iron billets. And let's get rolling. If you don't have rollers, then you can walk. Let's get walking. Let's get walking. Does that even make any sense? It does. Okay, let's skedaddle from this place. We have done everything there is to do. 
Let's just drop that one piece of charcoal and let's get enough hatchets and let's go for the first raid of the day. Let's get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Oh no, my dude is thirsty. And I'll just probably eat canned food. There go. This way, I don't have to pee myself. This way, I never pee in this game. I just eat beans. I just get water from beans. Okay, where are the... Um, excuse me. Eh, whatever, I'll get the Glocks. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get the Glocks. Nothing. Wait, I mean, these are not two full durability Glocks, so I'd love to get like another half durability Glock. That'd be a lot better. It feels safer going into that raid. But, uh, whatever. I'll just bring this broken Glock and that should be enough. Like, one broken Glock and both of these kind of, like, 80% durability Glocks and it should be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, it'll be more than enough. There go. Let's upgrade these weapons. And that's it. All we have to do is just get a few hatchets. Which we already even have. Let's roll. Do I have wood? Or do I have to go in, in the inventory to get wood? We'll see. Okay, that, that'll be more than enough for just two more level one hatchets. And again, some people keep asking me, Sire, why do you take too many hatchets? Why don't you just do research and then bring those hatchets? It's faster. It saves your time, ladies and gentlemen. It saves your time. It's all about saving your time. All right. If I'll now go outside, I'll do research on that base. And then I'll go back to the base. I'll take whatever hatchets I need to take. It's it's just faster for me to take five of these, five of these hatchets. And that's it. Then I can roll. Sometimes I take a C4, sometimes I don't. If I don't take a C4, we still have one in the inbox. So it's not that big of a deal. But hey, let's go. Do harpoons make noise during a raid? I think I've tested that out and I think they do. I think we tested that out in the past. But hey, maybe somebody can correct me in the chat, but I think I've tried that in the past. I'm like 99% sure, uh, sure that they do, because we've already tried it. Because we have already tried it. Okay, Mr. Optimistic. What? Well, I hope that this base is... is great. I mean, I have lots of optimism. LDE raid, Mr. Optimistic. Let's see what this raid has to offer. Is it any good? Okay, so after doing some research on this base, my optimism just plummeted, ladies and gentlemen. My optimism is gone. Optimism no more. So yeah, optimism no more, ladies and gentlemen. Bottleneck for Psyrek. ATV parts, guns, medicine, nah. Wood. I mean, everybody needs wood. Everybody needs wood. Are you planning to do another episode of The Walking Zombie 2? Maybe there will be one more in the future. I mean, again, can't promise anything as we never know. But maybe there will be one more. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so we got three more chests here. Uh, let's open them up. Optimism left the chat. Exactly. I mean, guys, just look at it. Just look at it. In the future, right? In the next, like, few days, I'm recording a new free-to-play episode. So for those asking, Sack, where's the free-to-play? Today, I've recorded a new free-to-play episode. I don't know what it'll, uh, when that video will come out. But there we kind of raided the bases. The, the beginner bases that you get. Right? And those bases are better than this base. Those bases are more interesting to raid. Much more interesting to raid than just this raid. So, there's that. Well, at least we've gotten a full set of armor. I mean, it could have went a lot worse. In my humble opinion, it could have been a lot, a lot worse. Could have been horrible. And now it's just like bad. It's just a bad raid. Not a horrible raid, it's just a bad raid. Still, does it get Sykes approval? I don't. Oh, we've gotten a stack of bandages. Hmm. And if it was a free-to-play account, or like whatever other account, if we didn't have a bunch of first aid kits, I would definitely use these seeds. Um, that's it. That's the raid, ladies and gentlemen. That is the raid. 
take the gold for the memes. Well, I took it. Hopefully, guys, you appreciate the memes. And again, I've done research. This room over here will have nothing. So it's pointless to explode it. Does this base get Sykes approval? I'm going to give it Sykes approval. Contrary to maybe to what some people think, I think getting a stack of first aid kits and some armor is... Is okay. It could have been a lot worse. So, I mean, it does get 2 out of 10. Like a very weak 2 out of 10. But it gets it. So, it does get Sykes approval. Again, if it was a revenge raid, it would have been a lot better. But it costed 1c4 plus. We had to do tasks for this raid. And, uh, yeah, it's not really... It's not really banger. But it does get my approval. I mean, it's easy to get my approval. As I said, it has to be just a 2 out of 10 to get Sykes approval. Now are you being optimistic? Very optimistic. I've never been more optimistic in my entire life. Optimism is going through the roof, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what we'll do now is let's feed the doggos. Doggos deserve a little bit of food. Look at that. I've given them an entire stack of meat. And that's what they've gotten. Some like cornmeal or whatever that is. Okay. Eat. Eat. I'll drop some armor. There we go. Hi, I didn't expose rates since two weeks. Do you have any explanation for that? I don't understand what you mean you didn't expose raid. I didn't expose rates since two weeks. I don't understand what that means. Well, I mean, I could probably guess it that you either didn't raid for two weeks or your base wasn't raided for two weeks. And uh, if you didn't raid for two weeks, that means you're either not level 150 or you didn't do the tasks or you didn't call them on the radio. And if you were not, if you didn't get any revenge raids, chances are you didn't have enough skulls here. You were just not lucky enough. Maybe you didn't move enough around the global map. I don't know. And if you meant something else, then I apologize. I didn't understand the question. Uh, let's drop that here. Let's drop a little bit. Wait, can I pay them with gold? I never paid them with gold. Ladies and gents, let's see. Has any one of you tried giving them gold? They're not happy with gold! Unbelievable. Can you do the GeoGuessr game later, says Alex? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. We might be playing a little bit of GeoGuessr. I had an alarm set to cancel the GeoGuessr subscription, but for some reason, it was the wrong alarm. So I have another month of GeoGuessr, basically. So we have to use it. <laughs> there will be more GeoGuessr today, guys, at the end of the live stream. But until we get to that GeoGuessr, we have many, many more things to do. So buckle up, buckaroos. Wait, why do I have so many of these things? I'm just gonna use them. There we go. My chopper's been repaired. Now I have more space here. Bloody beautiful. Wait, I haven't paid the raiders yet, so let's give them an electronic circuit. But for those who do not know, you can actually pay them with other stuff. You can give them some wood. So maybe we can give them a little bit of wood. What happened to Speed Cube says Gaga Kremang. Wait, I haven't seen you in like, whoa, Gaga Kremang. I haven't said that name in, in years. I remember that name, but it's been a really long time, mate. Welcome to the stream. Gaga Kremang. It's been seriously like, whoa, well, I don't know, man. It's either been years or a few months. I don't remember. It just depends. My mind might be playing tricks on me. What happened to the speed cube? The, the cube is still here. We still have the cube. We still got the cube here. Eight months, says Gaga Kremang. So it must have been then quite a while. Because I feel like it's been a really long time, but then I feel like I've seen you quite recently. Wait, quite recently. It's like eight months ago then. Okay, we have another farm location to do, which I can't clear because the farm location is kind of not reset yet as we've just cleared it. Uh, I mean, it'll reset like in 40 minutes or something. I don't know. In any case, um, this, the zombies, and we can do another raid today, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Or maybe wait, wait, wait. Before we do that second raid, we have some other things to do, actually, ladies and gentlemen. The, the thing is reset. Probably the transport hub. A rest up event? Yes, that's a rest up event. If transport hub is not reset yet, it is reset! That is it, buckaroos! Buckle up! Get your seed belts. Get your seed belts, ladies and gentlemen. Buckle up and let's go. 
the transport hub is reset. How many of you still like the transport hub? I actually want to start a poll here. Uh, do you still like the transport hub location? Yes, I still like it. Nah, mate. Nah, mate. It's goop. Uh, that's it. That there'll be just two options. There we go. Yes, I still like it. And nah, mate. It's goop. You either like it or it's goop. There's nowhere in the middle. If you're in the middle, then choose a side. Pick a side. You can't be neutral. Because for me, I still like the transport up. I still think it's cool. Like it is interesting. It's all the time different. Different bosses. I mean, only two bosses, but I wouldn't mind. Are you still waiting for some games to come out uh, soon to play them? Says Mika Pika. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. And uh, am I waiting for some games to come out? Yes, but I don't really know. I mean, I want some games to come out, but I don't wait for any right now. As I think the closest game that I'm waiting for is Gothic Remake. And I don't even know if I'll play it here on the channel. And it's coming out, like, I don't know when. Maybe 2025, 2026 <laughs> at best. If not even later, so I don't know. But that's the only game that I'm kind of waiting for as every other... As I don't know any other games that are coming out anytime soon. Sadly. Uh, wait, I wanted to do something. I forgot. I've absolutely forgotten. Oh, yeah, because we were we were getting ready for that transport hub. The transport hub, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we were doing. Unless you guys have awesome games that you're waiting to, to be released. So let me know. Who knows? Maybe I'll check them out as well. Maybe you guys are waiting for something epic. Will we play GTA 6? I mean, if it comes out, then sure. Of course. Of course we'll play GTA 6. Last day on Earth, too. Sure. Okay, let's get... We, we already have enough shotguns. Let's get that. Do we need a melee weapon, guys, when we go to the transport hub? We could take a melee weapon, but who actually... Why would we use it there? Right? I mean, we could use it, but at the same time, am I kidding? Who am I lying to, guys? I'm not gonna use it. Whatever, I'll get one. Maybe I'll be tempted to use it. Let's get another set of armor. And that is it. Let's go. And drone. Of course, let's not forget about the drone. Cyric, can a question be asked to you? Uh, you're already asking a question here. You're asking a question if you can ask questions. How dare you? You're not allowed to ask questions and yet you asked one. How is that possible? Illegal. Waiting for season 41 says Blizzard. What? I mean, season 41 is coming out in six days. <laughs> season 41. <laughs> season 41! Speaking of seasons, every time I say seasons, for some reason I remember Clash Royale. And recently I got Clash Royale on my phone again. And dude, I was bombarded with cards and chests and whatever else. I'm sure. Wait. <laughs> the game's loading up, ladies and gentlemen. The the Clash Royale. Focus. There we go, guys. Clash Royale is loading up. We got the chests, ladies and gentlemen. I got a big chest. Let's do opening here live on stream. Let's go. 10k gold! Bruh! We just got 10k gold. Let's start unlocking another chest here. Arena 13 chest. I played like three or something games. We won them. So that was pretty cool. We have now 4,500 trophies. But yeah, I've won once a battle. So I think we should be a lot higher. Because I haven't played that game in a long time. But yeah, we've gotten lots of chests i was bombarded with lots of things and we got lots of cards that's it maybe at the end of the live stream guys i won't be bored and maybe i'll get not like i won't be bored but if you guys will want me i might get class rail and we might play a battle at the end of the game at the end of the live stream because i think it's pretty fun <laughs> it's it's maybe cool last day on clash yes So yeah, do any of you guys play Clash Royale? Why don't you do some Clash Royale videos? I think I've made a few. He has a higher phone. I can confirm. 
I can completely confirm. I can totally confirm. When I say I got Clash Royale and I played some Clash Royale, I mean I literally like played four or five battles and that's it. And I haven't played it since. So welcome now to the transport hub. Let's do 1v1 in Clash Royale. Nah, mate. Nah. I would absolutely destroy you. I don't want to embarrass you in front of millions. Sire, I would win you. Of course you would win me. Sure. Yes, you would totally win me. You would totally win me. Can play Clash Royale with my eyes closed. God damn it. I don't even know half of the cards there. Whenever I play Clash Royale now, like those four battles, like they put like some sort of a card in the map and I don't even know what it does. So there's that. Okay, let's deal with these smashers. Oh no, they're, they're so annoying. And there will be that spitter, obviously. The goal here is to run. Oh my goodness, I got stuck! Guys, I wanted to show you how do you avoid that acid melter. You just check check this out. Let's say you're running away from that acid melter. You gotta run towards that acid melter. Then you can deal with it. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. They say Discord, Cyric. Wait, did they show something new on Discord? Cyric, you're getting attacked by floater bloater. Okay, guys, I'll deal with it. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Thank you, boomers. I have over 6,300 trophies. Nice. Okay, so we did get something new, but is it something interesting? Hello, survivors. Uh, recently last on our turn six. You've become very important to us. We love you. So we are excited to share some great news. Our studio is getting ready to release a new game. Menu life. Tournament. There you'll find dynamic 5v5 battles, base building, strategies where every member team plays important role. Blah, blah. Oh, it will be out on Steam. Ooh. So it's on Steam wishlist. It's going to be their first Steam game. Wait, do they have any other games? No, this will be a first game on Steam. You might not see it, ladies and gents, but this will be their first game on Steam. Huh, mini life tournament. I mean, I can show the screen probably, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. That'll be that'll be the game. It's like Clash Royale from Wish, kinda, but it's not fully. It's like Clash Royale style. <laughs> what is this? But I mean, whatever. We might actually check it out. Probably. It's literally. Like Clash Royale, I don't get it. But even the characters look like them. Not the Clash Royale, but the the other game from Supercell. I forgot how it's called. Whatever, you got the point. The game looked cool, but I'm kind of already. Huh? But whatever. We'll see how that game goes. We might actually check it out. Clans. It's not Clash of Clans. It's the. And not the Clash of Clans. Not the Clash Royale, but the game. Brawl Stars. Yes. They look like Brawl Stars, like that Dynamite. They look like literally like some of them from that game. In any case. We'll see. We will see what's... What that game will be about. When it comes out. When it comes out, we'll play it. It'll be like their first PC game, so... There's that. They're dibbling their toes in PC games. I'm excited to check them out, I guess, we'll see how it works, and what it's all about. There was one of those toxic darters running after me, but it's gone now, unless it just killed it. Yes, I did get a drone, because for a second I forgotten even if I had taken a drone, but I do have it. Oh my goodness! Okay, let's be down there. Nice. There we go. We did it. We absolutely did it. So, guys, what do you think of the game that the last and Earth devs have just announced? The mini something. What do you think about it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.
Okay, I haven't opened up that chest yet. We will open it up. Let's not forget about it because sometimes it does have great loot. Such as copper bars. There we go. Pretty Pog. Maybe it'll be Pog. Last on Earth Deaths announced Last on Earth 4. Imagine if they released like Last on Earth PC version. That'd be Poggers. Maybe it would be Poggers. I don't know. Would it be actually Poggers? Again, I don't know much about game development. But I'm like pretty certain there is more money to be made in mobile gaming than PC gaming. Mobile gamers are mobile gamers are a lot more used to uh, microtransactions than PC gamers, I guess. But again, what would I know, right? Um. Oh no! I didn't take any Genesis weapons. This is bad. This is horrible. Well, luckily we do have a protector here, so let's get one. You forgot about the laboratory guns. Well, I got one from the inbox. Oh no. And they right away just pick up their shields. Just like there for a second. Whoa! Whoa, you still die on the second floor! What is this? Ladies and gentlemen, what is this? I got banned from my last on Earth community. It says, Yup. How did you get banned from your last on Earth community? Maybe it wasn't your community, was it? And if you got banned, maybe there was a reason, mate. Was there? Or maybe there wasn't. I don't know. I've never seen this. Well, I have seen this. That's what I tried to do. I mean, before it didn't work. I'm sure developers have updated something. Maybe I got a glitch here, or maybe they've updated it to be that way. Maybe. Take Genesis guns. Oh, yeah, we should take one or two, maybe. Maybe. Should I actually take them? I don't think I got any, to be honest with you. And I need the drone. I need to take the drone, guys. I need to also take the drone... You were not optimistic enough, says Poonam. Probably. Probably that's the case. Probably that is still the case, ladies and gentlemen. Take Optimus Prime. Um, yeah, as you can see, I mean, I do have this and this pistol, whatever. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's also get the drone. And let's get rolling. Sorry, have you played GTA 5? Yes, I've beaten GTA 5. I didn't play it on the channel. I think I have a video or two about GTA 5 here on the channel. Where we played with like some mods and whatnot. But yes, I have played GTA 5 off camera. Why did you scream so loud? Because I wanted to scream so loud. They have a problem with me, mate. Hmm. Let's settle it. 1v1. Right now. You'll have your hands tied up. And I'll have boxing gloves to make it fair. 1v1 me. Now. No rules. Except I said the only rule you have. You, sh you have to have your hands tied up. That's the only rule. It's like opinions on the latest updates. The best updates ever created. It's a very broad question. It's a nice... It's a nice... We, we got some nice updates. I mean, the transport hub is pretty decent. I like transport hub. Probably one of the better updates we've ever gotten, so... I like it. I mean, I don't know what else I can say about it. I think it's decent. I have nothing to kind of complain about. I mean, in the, the the recent updates, we didn't have updates for a really long time, like basically for half a year or something. We didn't get anything new, so now we've gotten something. I mean, I have nothing to complain that we've gotten whatever. Like, we might have gotten like garbage and I would have said thanks, right? 
and we've gotten like pretty decent content we've got in the transport hub that I'm actually interested to clear I think they they almost like perfectly nailed this place it's pretty good it has some nice decent and interesting loot it has uh, sometimes different bosses here you get to choose different crates it's interesting I like it are you excited for the new updates that are coming out extremely excited Super excited. Never been more excited. I am very, very, very excited. It's just nice to have a new permanent location and end game content. Yes. Yes. I mean, I don't think the transport hub gives like any end game content. Does it? Maybe. Kinda. I mean, it's, it's a great location. It's it's a good location. That's all I have to say about it. It gives variety of content here. Variety of loot. I'm happy with everything. Oh my goodness. They dropped that stupid shield, didn't they? There we go. Got him. 80 beach transmissions and gas tanks. Uh, I haven't gotten one yet, but I mean... If we get ATV transmissions, that's great. I mean, I'm sure it's possible because it says that it's possible to get one. Haven't gotten one yet. I like your live streams. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Erzumio. Sorry for butchering your name, but hey, thanks for watching it. The Bunker Bravo is useless. Now, it's not useless. You still get the gas cylinders from there. Where are you going to get your gas cylinders from? Well, actually, Cyric. What actually? Don't actually me here. Where will you get your gas cylinders from? I don't think you get gas cylinders from this place, though. But it is nice to get ATV transmissions. Even though they're probably extremely rare. Has any one of you gotten an ATV transmission from the transport hub? I'm just curious. The icebreaker. <laughs> Guys, I'm probably going to tell you that it's probably cheaper to just clear Bunker Bravo than getting gas cylinders from the icebreaker like i'll just hubba 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 say that hubba 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 uh, hubba oh it's not hubba it's pubba i thought it's pubba from the from that tv show that had two seasons i forgot i just finished watching it but whatever peter hopfner thank you thank you for the super chat welcome to the stream happy hanukkah mate welcome welcome hello hello thanks for supporting the channel glad to see you here mate hello hello thanks for not forgetting Thanks for not forgetting about the channel. Glad to see you here. Oh, you can even get gas cylinders here. Imagine killing Icebreaker. If I'm not mistaken, you have to kill the Icebreaker in hard mode to get the gas cylinders. So, I mean, the Icebreaker is the third boss, so you gotta get to that third boss. And if I'm not mistaken, as I said, it's probably in hard mode or maybe normal mode. In any case, you need lots of guns for it. Like, you're just better off clearing Bunker Bravo during, like, Bunker Bravo event. It'll be probably better, and plus you'll get other loot needed for your ATV. So yeah, okay, I'm just gonna drop a bit lower. It's like, did you watch Lucifer? Yes. I finished watching it about a few months ago. Maybe three months ago, maybe half a year. No, not half a year ago. It couldn't have been half a year ago. Finished watching it a few months ago. Let's drop it. Let's open it up, ladies and gentlemen. Second crate of the day. What's the fastest way to get air filters? Uh, bunker Alpha. Like, as silly as it sounds, probably Bunker Alpha. You can also get them from other places. But I don't remember every single place here right now. Maybe chat will help you out. Or you can go on Google and type where to get air filters, LDOE, wiki, and there will be everything there. But like, the best way to get them is through Bunker Alpha, so other places don't really matter as they won't be cheap or fast or great ways to get them. I oh, know the parasites. The parasites. Let's get the parasites. Ports and the sewers. Yes, you can also get that stuff from the sewers. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is absolutely true. Uh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh lord. These sharks are chasing us. Maybe we don't even have to fight them. To be honest, we can probably just avoid them. When I think about it, you don't even have to kill these carrions. Correct? All you have to do is... Avoid them. Pretty simple. All you have to do is just not die and avoid them. Sad those carriers don't drop tickets anymore. Oh yeah, they nerfed it? They don't even drop tickets anymore? That's sad. That's actually... That is sad. They have definitely nerfed it. I mean, all we have to do is just get... Wait, is this duffel bag even worth it? Maybe it's just garbage. I mean, mo most of the time it's just garbage. All we have to do is just get here to the top and that's it. They get stuck if you climb up the ladder. There we go. You can climb up the ladder. They won't chase you up that ladder. You can go here. You can open up whatever your crates. And that's it. Then you just re-enter this location. And then you can probably fight like whatever bosses. And you don't even have to kill those guys. So this room I would say is probably optional. Expedition. Uh, what expedition? We have the supply event. Supply event lasts for a week. What? Does it always last for that long? Or is it some sort of a new change maybe? In any case. Let's load this. Okay, this, this. Oh, some enter ads. How lovely. How lovely in it, mate. Let's send those. And hey, to those that have just joined to the stream, welcome. And today, we are going to clear 99 waves. We will open up a few purple cards. But hey, before we do that, we have a few things to clear here. Why don't you raid Bunker, Charlie? Because it's not in the game. Because it is not in the game. It ends when the season ends. Okay. I mean, we were talking about the supply event. Oh no, there's one more thing that we haven't looted. We haven't looted this truck. So let's hop in the truck. Ladies and gentlemen, and let's see what this truck has to offer. Miner is easier than Butcher. I'd probably say otherwise. I think Butcher is easier than Miner. If you have the right weapons for it. I mean, for both you need weapons, but I think Butcher is a little bit easier. Probably a bit, a bit easier. Whatever, I'll just use that drone. Uh, okay. Let's tell the drone to stay here. And it will stop shooting. Got him. The drone is still pretty garbage. The drone is still pretty bad. Butcher requires gun. Guns miner requires skill. It's like the silliest comment I've read today. Congratulations, mate. And it's not that... And it's not easy to be the silliest comment. We get a lot of silly comments here. You guys know it. Like, if you've ever read the chat, you know what's going on there. <laughs> you know what kind of comments we get there. But dude, that was the cream of the crop there. So I can elaborate. I don't have to elaborate anything. I could just accuse, I could just throw random words. I don't have to elaborate here. Exactly. Uh, we've gotten a shotgun. Not that bad. This and Antarads. Hell yeah! My favorite. What's the best way to get attachments? Uh, farm location? You'll get attachments for your weapons, but I'm, I'm sure you're talking about attachments for your guns. If you want to get blueprints for your guns, you have to clear either police department or... 
get blueprints through season passes. Like, you can get three purple blueprints here. You can get a few purple blueprints in there. So, there's that. How to level up fast. Guys, now you're just asking these questions for me to just say Bunker Alpha. And that's the point. Like, sometimes I don't really know if somebody's trolling in the chat or not. Like, sometimes I'll read a comment and I think that they're trolling, so I'll respond in a trolling response. But if it's a new player asking me a legit question, then it sounds as if I'm mocking them. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm at the crossroads here. Crossroads? So you're talking about the Sector 7 crossroads. Holy moly. What has last dinner done to you? How to make Bunker Bravo easy? You don't. You wait for the event. For the Bunker Bravo event and then you clear it. Oh, I am ready. I am ready. Except we gotta fight the boss here. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Because I'm absolutely ready. If the boss is gonna be in this crate. I don't know if the boss is actually in this crate or not. I know where it is. Yes, Butcher is here, okay, so it should be relatively easy as then. Okay, the turkeys have come out. Will this M16 be enough? I doubt it. We need AKs for the turkeys. I'm sure you can have an AK. You can have fully modded, common modded AK. By the time you unlock the transport up, you should have those mods. That's it. Because you can open up, like, a lot of those green cards. Like, those common mods, you can open up, like, literally probably hundreds of them. You just clear the police department a few times. About a few times, I mean, like, reaching, like, 50 waves. Like, let's say three, four, five, six times. Maybe you don't have to do, like, that many times, but you got the point. So, yeah, I'm sure there are different ways to kill the butcher. But as I said, a nice way of killing the butcher is just running around here. This thing. Okay, he's gonna yell very soon. It's just running around this thing. It depends. If if the turkey spawn from the top crate, then you have to fight the butcher a little bit lower. We could lure the butcher actually closer to the entrance. To the outside. Okay, now let's deal with these uh, turkeys. Except I'll wait for that turkey to come back here. Wait now, the butcher will start screaming very soon and feeding on that turkey when his health drops below 1,000. So there we go. I just wanted to wait for that turkey to come here. I'm gonna destroy that wild turkey. Okay, the boss just yelled. And... Oh no, I made a mistake, ladies and gentlemen. I made a mistake! Let's say the dude will eat. The dude will eat. There goes my strategy, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, I wanted to catch that turkey. Didn't manage. In any case, the dude just healed up for 300. Okay, he's gonna yell. You go down. And let's say, spam your AK. You get the other wild turkey. That's it. That's why you need to have that AK. To deal with those turkeys as fast as possible. This way, it's... It's more simple. More guaranteed. Gotta go lower. And let's spam the gun. There we go. Let's get that wild turkey. There we go. With the AK, you are very fast. And you kill those turkeys basically instantly. Okay. If you have sprinting skill, it's even better. And there we go. We got those turkeys. Now you go back up to the top. Lure him here. Don't try to damage him down there because he might scream down there. So the further he is from that crate, the better. The easier it is to get those start. Oh no, he didn't. I thought he he might actually yell now. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. That's it, I'm done. I made a mistake. Ladies and gents! I made a mistake! I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Whatever. Let's let him feed. I can't believe that, ladies and gentlemen. We made another mistake. 
he yelled down there and I wasn't sure again. Uh oh. Also, if you wouldn't, uh, if you don't have a high DPS weapon, those turkeys will stun you. If you had here a leg shot, I'm sure it'll be a lot easier. Yeah, not everyone's gonna have a leg shot. Oh no, again, mistakes were made. Oh no, I still get stunned. Okay, we got that wild turkey, that's good. Got him. So if you don't mess it up, it actually works pretty well. But there's still ways to mess it up. Okay, shoot him only up there. Okay, let him come up. Try to fight him. Okay, he started yelling again. Let's go lower. AK shots. There we go. We got those wild turkeys and that is it. The bot is dead. So yeah. I made here two mistakes. I kind of rushed here too fast, so I wasn't able... So that's why the boss was able to feed here twice. But if you're a little bit smarter than me, you won't let him feed on these turkeys as... You'll do your best so that the boss screams here at the top. And then you'll have enough time to run down there and just kill them with that AK. Also, if you don't shoot that boss, I don't know if he actually screams. Wait, we need to change the music. Right, but I don't really know when that boss screams. It looks like he screams only when you damage it. So it would be nice if we paired it up with like your sprinting skill. Like I know some of you like the rolling skill, but I think sprinting skill is better. But whatever, if you have rolling skill or sprinting skill, doesn't matter. I think it's also nice to just keep running around this forklift and waiting until your sprinting skill resets. So that this way, as soon as the guy yells, you can activate that sprinting skill and run faster down there and deal with those turkeys easier. But whatever, let's get the terminal card. I still probably prefer the butcher boss to the minor boss. In any case, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. We destroyed the butcher. The butcher is resting. We could maybe fight the butcher here as well. But uh, that's a lot of walking. Okay, let's open it up. I'm sure we have gotten everything, so let's see what kind of crate we'll get. And just as always, ladies and gents, you'll get to vote on which crate you want me to open up. Yeah, because again, we got like those whatever crates, so you can guys vote. So we've gotten this unknown shipper crate, we've gotten the CYF crate, the police department crate, and the classified crate. You can guys vote here. Uh, which crate to open up? One, two, three, and four. There we go, guys. You can vote. Let's wait here for a minute or two. And you can decide what crate you guys would like me to open up. I got the guitar from the deliveries at the port. That's nice. Congrats on the guitar. See why F crates are goop now. Maybe. Let's finally see what the first crate gives. I would like to open up the first, but this one is bad. Like if it was giving med kits, like sometimes you can get a med kit chest. I, I, I'll open up the med kit chest. The next time we get the first crate here and it's med kit chest, I will open it up. I think the med kit chest is going to be pretty good. And I want to open it up. But, uh... Yeah, this one is gonna be pretty bad. Like it just gives garbage loot. It doesn't even give like good armor It gives like that motorcycle jacket. Like why is it rare? Why is it any good? It's bad. It like has no durability at all. It's like the worst set in the game And why is it here marked as rare? Like I'd probably get a baseball bat instead of this crossbow So some of the loot is weird three is more interesting, but four is probably more valuable So it's getting very close guys the third and fourth crate are going neck to neck. So at first the third crate was winning, now the fourth crate is winning. Let's wait a bit more. 
vote, guys, in the poll if you haven't voted yet. It's in the chat somewhere there. So wake up. If if you were watching the live stream, let's say you're cooking somewhere right now and your hands are dirty, go watch them right now. Vote. Vote. We need the vote. We need the votes. All the votes. Okay, I'll wait a few more seconds. And yeah, it looks like the fourth grade is winning, actually. By a decent amount now. The fourth grade is actually winning by a decent amount. Okay, so let's open up that fourth grade, guys. You voted. That's it. 46% of you voted for the fourth grade. 34% of you voted for the third grade. And the rest are the rest. Nobody voted for the rest. <sighs> let's open up the third grade, right? No, the fourth grade. The fourth grade won the classified crate. Let's unload it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's unload it. Now, let's see what this crate has to offer. We have gotten the Raiders Battle Armor. We have gotten six of these aluminum wires, which I kind of need, so I don't mind getting those six aluminum wires. We have gotten a few Genesis weapons. Huh? Okay. Not horrible. I think it could have been worse. I mean, I'm sure this crate has other awesome things that... We might need later on, but it's not bad. Plus, we've gotten like 12 med kits. Plus some other goop. Okay. I will absolutely take that. Except I wasted those first aid kits on that butcher. When you fight the butcher, another tip and trick, use bandages on him. Because using first aid kits is pretty, pretty bad. Uh, especially on the miner. When you fight the miner boss, use the, uh, use bandages. No, the opposite. In any case, you got the point. Use bandages on both of them. That's it. Use bandages on both of them. I want to take this and this. I want to take these two items. I don't want to take the rest, but I just want to take those uh, two electronic circuits and this slasher. I need to make space for it. Or I can just drop some stuff in the chopper and that's it. We can just do that, ladies and gentlemen, can't we? That's it. There you go, guys. There's the Paul. Uh, the Paul asks, do you play Clash Royale? I don't know why. But I'm actually interested. Do you guys play Clash Royale? Uh, wait, I didn't even go to the chopper. I went to the chopper to drop some things, but it didn't drop them fully. Okay, I'll drop this entire armor. I'm playing Clash of Clans, but I'm talking about Clash Royale! Not about Clash of Clans. Who plays Clash of Clans? Uh, nobody. Literally nobody. Probably there are more Clash, Roy Clash of Clans players than Last and Earth players. I think by a mile. Probably. I'd guess. Maybe. I don't know. I've retired Clash Royale because of a uh, Hog Cycle deck. And I still played the Hog Cycle deck. The Hog Cycle Miner deck. Miner is kind of weak now. In Clash Royale. So I might be changing the Miner for something else. Like from for the Ice Spirit or something. <laughs> Maybe for whatever. I play Knight though. I have a Knight at level 13. I think that's my max card that I have. It's pretty strong. Knights are OP in Clash Royale. For 3 Elixir, they're crazy. You are upsetting the whole Clash of Clans fandom. I'm kidding guys. I used to play Clash of Clans myself. I got the Town Hall 3. You can probably get the Town Hall 3 during breakfast in the morning. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I was probably either Max Town Hall 8 or Max Town Hall 9. I might have even rushed to Town Hall 10. I don't know. It's been a while. Uh, now we need to drop the loot, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever thought about the loot? This game is all about the loot. You don't have loot. You have nothing. Haven't played Clash of Clans in such a long time, man. Like, in such a long time. 
Like probably 90% of the time in Clash of Clans would be spent in just searching for a nice base to raid. You find someone's base that where where they forgot to change the layout and you just raid that base because all of their pumps and everything will just be there in one spot. And you just get them or you find like a dead base. And you just farm them with archers. The good old days. Okay, we have so much fiberglass. What can we do with it, ladies and gentlemen? Nothing. Absolutely nothing, but we have so much of it. And absurd amounts of glass fiber. Okay, let's drop that here. Let's drop the drone. And I think it's time for us to get ready for those 99 waves. So buckle up, buckaroos. We'll try to speed run them. Buckle up, buckaroos. Are you ready for 99 waves speed run? Let's probably also bring there a few first aid kits. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we bring a few first aid kits? Maybe use mines on 99 waves again. Like, I'll get at least one comment from people saying about those mines. Are you planning to send those mines to me? But, Sarek, you can't send stuff in the game. I know, but are you planning to send me those mines? Are you willing to supply me with those mines? 99 waves with hammers, 99 waves with spears, speedrun. Okay. Guys, you're getting out of hand. Some of you need to be stopped with these ideas. Use Kevlar armor. Why would I use Kevlar armor? Give me at least like three good reasons and I will use that Kevlar armor. Heck, I will delete this channel if you give me three good reasons. I'll give it to you, mate. You can't come out with three good reasons because no matter what reasons you give me, I'll just say that they're bad and that's it. I'm not gonna hold the end of the deal. Because I was holding my fingers crossed, you see? So... That didn't count. Actually, I was holding them with both hands crossed, so that doesn't work. Crossed fingers, baby. When you're going to play more DayZ, perhaps one day in the future we might play some more DayZ. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Your screen is not clear. Sometimes when you eat cheap, uh, sometimes when you eat chips and you touch with your greasy fingers, when you touch the screen with greasy fingers, it becomes not clear. So try to wipe it off once in a while, and you'll be able to see clearly. Oh my God! Thank, thank you. It worked. You're welcome. You are absolutely welcome. If you have any other questions, like let's say the video is too loud or something, or it's too dark, you can always change the brightness on the phone. You can always add some more volume. There are buttons on the side of the phone here to add volume. I mean, every phone is going to be kind of different. But here on the sides, there will be buttons where you can add volume. You can change the brightness. It works. It works. Try it out. There you go. Sarek, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know that. It's really cool. Eat chips with tweezers to stop greasy fingers. Eat chips with... Uh, with chopsticks. That's how I eat them. If you don't eat chips with chopsticks, there's something wrong with you, mate. Me and you were not the same.
Do you pay attention to your health very much? Says Lord Ami. Explain, elaborate. I literally don't understand what that question is supposed to mean. You can take that question in so many ways. In real life, in game. What's going on? Hmm? I don't get it. Welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How is your doing? 99 waves with the drone. You can probably do only four waves with the drone, and even then, he's not going to help much. <laughs> that drone will do nothing. Uh, let's go back home. We gotta get, uh, gotta get a few grenade launchers. Because that's what we do, ladies and gentlemen. Today, Psych woke up and decided to roast the chat. I literally didn't roast the chat. I literally roasted, like, two silly comments. Two silly comments doesn't equal chat. The chat is amazing. The chat is epic. What are the plants about Scum Survival? There will be more Scum Survival. Absolutely. There will be a lot of Scum Survival. No worries about that. No worries about Scum Survival. Chat is bog. Indeed, chat is bog. Chat is awesome. Well, you've stopped playing Westland Survival. Why wouldn't I stop it? Because I feel like we've... We've done everything that the game has to offer. And there is nothing else to play. And... Uh, there was nothing else to play in that Westland Survival. And I just didn't want to play it! Why do I have to give an excuse? I didn't want to play another mobile game that looks like Last Dinner. That's it. Why do I have to elaborate myself? Say, why did you stop playing that masterpiece? Because I didn't want to play it. I wanted to play Resident Evil instead. Or something else. It's like you didn't... Do everything there. Okay. Westland Survival is pretty epic. There's tons of new stuff since you played. Your excuses mean nothing. Yes. Guys, again, I'm like, I'm not saying anything wrong about uh, Westland Survival. I'm not saying anything bad. I'm not saying that, not wrong, but bad. I'm going to say bad. I'm not saying anything bad about Westland Survival. I'm sure, like, it's a cool game, right? But, uh... As I said, I don't need to start more mobile survival games. Plus, the audience is not interested in those videos. Like, I've made Westland survival videos. It's fine. Um, let's hop on the chopper. Do I need anything else? Maybe let's get a few more first aid kits. <laughs> Not Westland Survival, but Eastland Survival when I will definitely think about Eastland Survival. Absolutely. I'll absolutely think about it. By the way, it was a good series. Exactly, but everything comes to an end. I mean, I just can't keep playing uh, Westland Survival. I can't keep playing one game forever. Unless it's last in our survival. Right? It's like no matter how many videos I make on a game, like it's never gonna be enough. I think we have like 12 videos on Westland Survival. Actually, I don't know how many videos we got. But we got a decent amount of videos on Westland Survival. But it ain't enough. We need more. Okay, let's go to the gas station. Sykes, streamer level idea. Keep a small pot of grass. Uh, somebody says touch grass 
Pledge grass life on cam, says board sells. That's a good idea. That is actually a decent idea. Except I'm never gonna do it, but it's a good idea, man. It's probably a good idea. I can even like buy fake grass. This way I won't even have to like take care of it and you won't know if it's real or fake grass. And I'll just quickly like whip it out. I'll be like, poke, poke. I'll just pot, uh, I'll just touch the plant and that's it. That tree, I have a tree in the, uh, I have a tree at home. I I'm growing a palm tree. I've been growing it for years now. I do have a pretty big palm tree. It's like about, I mean, how do I say it? It's probably like one meter long. Uh, one meter to feet. One meter is about 3.2 feet, right? Something like that. Let, that's like very, very random-ish number. Okay, let's get more medical supplies. Let's, 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 let's do something over here. Have you played Seven Days to Die? Yes, I made a few videos on Seven Days to Die. It's no tree sapling, bruh. It's a tree. You are a sapling. <laughs> you are a sapling there. And I have a tree. You might be growing saplings at home. And I'm growing trees. Okay, let's upgrade these. Grenade launchers. And let's begin 99 waves, ladies and gents. We're absolutely ready. Okay, let's get everything. Let's get the brutalizer and let's go. How to get the purple chips? You get them by spinning the wheel of fortune. You get them from here. I'm not ready. Can you wait like an hour? Sure, buddy. I'll wait for you. Absolutely. Guys, let's run. Let's run. Let's run away from him. Let's not wait for anybody. Let's go. Like those friends when you walk and sometimes you want to tie your shoe and they'll just keep walking. They won't wait for you. I always wait for them. Right. Every time some... Every time... It's like you don't have any friends. Well, when I used to have friends, I would wait for them. All right. Somebody ties the shoe, you have to wait for them. It's legal. Except here, somebody asked me here to wait for an hour. I'm just going. Do you like Rainbow Six Siege? I love that game. I absolutely love it. One of the best games I've ever played. I've never played it. I have never played it. Hey guys, are you ready for 99 waves? Because I am. We'll kind of like speedrun them. And then we'll open up a few purple. And then... I don't know what else we'll do. We'll see. I mean, we got to survive till that point, right? Maybe a meteorite will hit this house and... I won't even be able to do like 99 waves fully. Who knows? Let's not plan to ahead. To ahead of ourselves, right? Let's plan like five minutes in front. That's my motto. And there's that one dude. Actually, Cyric, that's a very bad way to live your life like that. You should plan ahead. Okay, Boomer. Have you ever heard of jokes? Use reanimator. Oh no, I forgot about the reanimator. No, no, dude, no. Yikes, do we have the... Oh yeah, we have three reanimators here. Let's use one. I've absolutely forgotten about it. Who's the dude that reminded me about the reanimator? Can't find it in the chat anymore. I lost the chat. Where was that comment? 
Oh, it was MM. Thanks, MM. I see now. Thanks, M. Use all three at once, says Boring Sus. Okay, that's too much. As I said, some comments are great. Some comments are not so great, to put it lightly. But the chat overall is still amazing. That's it. So when I call out a random chat, guys, I'm not making fun of anybody. All right. We're just here having fun. Right? Why don't you play FPS games? Because I don't play FPS games here. It's pretty simple. Why are you not NAS engineer? Because you don't want to be a NAS engineer. For the same reasons I don't want to play FPS games here. We play here survival games. That's it. I can't just play like random... Random games here. It doesn't work like that, ladies and gentlemen. We play Last and Earth Survival here. Right? Nobody wants me to play an FPS game. Why would I play a shooter game? So there's that. Call it the animator. I call it life insurance. <laughs> you might call it life insurance. You probably wouldn't be wrong. I don't know. Okay, let's deal with the riot zombie. Let's get that grenade launcher. So yeah, to those that have just joined to the stream, welcome. We are currently clearing here 99 waves. If you have never cleared the police department, you need to know that you need to pick up cards every few waves. Otherwise, those cards will despawn. And recently, I think I made a video where I've, where I've opened up like a purple card, right? Or two purple cards even. And uh, during that video, I was saving blue cards on the ground. And I think one of those blue cards despawned. I'm not really sure how that works. But I think... Wait, we can maybe experiment. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to get this red zombie. I want to kill one zombie there in the corner. And then I'll see if that card will ever despawn. Let's do it. Let's play here and experiment. But yeah, basically pick up cards if you don't want them to despawn. That's it. They will despawn. Pick them up every way. That's it. That's all you need to know. Pick them up every two waves. I don't care. Pick them up. Pick him up. Oh no, oh no, wasted a grenade launcher shot only here, only right now. Okay, so there you go, we have that body. What do we have in it? A brown card. Okay, so let's remember that. Will it ever despawn? Because I think even if we pick up cards, that card can still despawn. Unless I'm imagining, but I think a blue card despawned for me because I kept it for like 20 or 30 waves and it despawned at the end. I think it despawned. Again, I, I'm i not sure. I'm not 100% sure. It's like, leave this awesome game and come and play with me in a sandbox. All right. That sounds very interesting. I'll consider that. Whenever I remember, whenever I hear a sandbox, I just remember when I was a kid, I had a sandbox. I didn't play in it that much. But I remember once a kid came and, uh... We played Yu-Gi-Oh! And I played Yu-Gi-Oh! with him. Like, nobody knows Yu-Gi-Oh! rules, right? You just make them up on the spot. And he was making up his own rules, I was making up my own rules. And when I started winning with my own made-up rules, he was like, Ah, oh, that's it, I don't play with people like you. You make up your own rules. 
And then they're like, bruh, you're making up your own rules yourself. And I was probably like 12 at that time. So every time I hear a sandbox, that's the memory that comes up in my head. So yeah, he got pretty salty. do be like that. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, that card is still there. I'm, su I'm not surprised. Maybe it doesn't despawn. Again, it will despawn if you have too many zombies. I'm testing it out if... It can still despawn. We're just doing a test. Pick up your cards every three waves. That's it. I'm testing here other stuff. He was a game genius since 12... Dude, it was Yu-Gi-Oh! Who knows rules for that card game? Nobody knows the rules. Psych! I know those! Sure you know the rules. Sure you know the rules, buddy. The trauma. That wasn't the trauma. I was a little bit disappointed. I mean, he said he doesn't play with people like me, so... Those words stuck with me for a while. I was like, what do you mean, like, me? What did I do? I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh, mate. Why are you doing this? It isn't worth it. It is actually very worth it. If you have grenade launchers, and especially here a Brutalizer, it's basically free loot. Like, that's why I'm doing it. It's like, why don't you play Frostburn anymore? People didn't want me to continue with Frostburn, and I wasn't really too keen to play Frostburn. So yeah, both parties, me and uh, and you guys, <laughs> it contributed to no more Frostburn. Because who plays Frostburn? Right? It's just like, I wasn't too happy playing it, as there's nothing to do there. Nothing that I'm interested in. And uh, you guys were like, eh, Frostburn, right? Who plays Frostburn? The cool kids play last on Earth, so here we are. But again, if I wanted to play a multiplayer game and if I had friends... <laughs> it sounds so wrong. If I had friends that want to play a mobile game and spend time on a mobile game, right? I would play probably Frostborn instead of Last on Earth because it's a no-brainer. Frostborn is a more advanced game than Last on Earth and I think it's a better game than Last on Earth. Right? Okay, the armor is going to break. Probably so wasted grenade launcher to me it's a waste. I mean once you reach at least level 50 you will realize more things about the game mate. So no worries. Make sure to check out the free to play playlist. Link is down in the description. There I explain most of the tips and tricks about the game. I share how to clear bunker alpha. Reanimator for safety. We do have a reanimator. MM if I'm not mistaken. Somebody in the chat named MM reminded us about that reanimator so I did use it. I did use the reanimator. I did use it. Goofy notification sound. It's a normal notification sound. What do you mean a goofy notification sound? Who changes their notification sounds? Who can be bothered to change their notification sounds? Literally nobody. Okay, let's heal up here. Kind of wasted that first aid kit. Should have waited a bit before clicking it. But it, it is what it is. Bro, these comments says I am always confused. No worry, mate. It's fine. 
<laughs> it's fine. Don't think about it too much. Yo, Matthew Spellman, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Glad to see you here, mate. It's like if you have loot here in the arena at police department, it will reset and lose those items, question mark. If the police department resets, then yes. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. You lose the items here only when it resets. So there's that. What level do you need to be to get the Brutalizer? I'm not sure. I think you can get it at whatever level, as long as you have the VIP premium thing, whatever. Prestige, whatever it's called. I don't know. I only use seven, eight grenade launchers to complete 99 waves. Nice. That is buggers. Missed a body. I yeah, know that down there there is a body. I'm keeping it. I want to see if it despawns. I'm just testing something out. But I don't think it despawns because it's already wave 20 and it still hasn't despawned yet. So yeah, they'll despawn only if there are too many cards uh, on the map. Then they'll start despawning. Okay, let's go for the wave 26. There should be a permanent storage at the police department. I agree, such as like in Bunker Alpha or Bunker Bravo. That'd be cool. Like in Bunkers, yes, I agree. That'd be cool to store some things. Okay, that grenade launcher is broken. We need to go and repair that schmuck. We brought here more grenade launchers to waste more of them so that we do the PD waves a bit faster. So occasionally I have to explode those riot zombies with grenade launchers because we can just repair them later. Yeah, I wouldn't advise doing that actually. Tyke, do you know you should never open a purple crate says the uh, Yes, I am quite aware of that. I can't believe that it's only wave 20. Actually, wave 30. Let's speed some things up. Did the reanimator get used? No, no, we didn't use it. We did not use the reanimator. Not yet. Wave 30 and only 3 blue, which is fine. I mean, the rule of thumb is 1 blue per 10 waves, but that's still not a lot of blue. Sometimes you can get more. But it's still not the end. 140 health half from the VIP bonus. But yeah, sometimes you get lots of blue cards at the end. Sometimes you don't get a lot of them at the beginning and then you get more at the end. Sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes it's equal. Like you get a lot of blue cards at the beginning and at the end. You got 28 blue in your last video. Maybe by exchanging all of the other cards? Maybe. Psych is like the kid who says don't cheat on the exam and he cheats himself. Well... Because if everybody cheats, there's a problem, right? Like, the teacher will notice that. And if you're the only one cheating, chances are she won't see it. So... Yeah. So yeah, guys, don't open purple cards. Leave them for me. No, guys, you can open up the purple cards. As I said at the beginning of this live stream, if you've been playing this game for a while and you're like level 209 or whatever, you don't really need tips and tricks from me. I don't have to tell you like what cards to open up. I don't have to tell you what crates to open up. You already know them, right? You don't need tips and tricks from me. But like if you're new to the game, like those are... The, I'm usually giving tips and tricks to those that 
haven't been playing the game for years that might not know everything. Like, I'm just giving advice to those players, but if you've been playing this game for a while, you don't need my tips and tricks. Like, when I tell you guys you shouldn't open up purple cards and you're like, Actually, Cyric, I want to get purple blueprints. I've been playing this game for three years. Like, sure, you can open them up. You don't have to explain that to me. You don't have to... You don't have to do that. I get it. If you know what you're doing, go for it. But yeah, now opening up purple cards is literally wasteful. Like, even if you know what you're doing, it's still kind of wasteful because... Um, yeah. It is still kind of wasteful. Wait, is this still a brown card? Yep. Maybe I thought at the end of the waves it'll change something. It'll become blue card, which it makes no sense, but that'd be cool <laughs> if it changed to blue. So yeah, now you get purple cards from the season passes, plus from the arena event. So you know what? Opening up these purple cards is really wasteful. It's really not smart. I don't think I've gotten any food with me. If you if you played the game for three years, you know you're getting the mod you want from the purple card. That's also true. That is also true. Bro, I didn't get any food with me. And they've changed another pack, guys. I didn't mention this. Before, this pack used to be 99 cents. Or I think one euro, like, nine cents, something like that. Well, it depended from which country you are. Let's say it was one dollar. Now they changed it. They added here... What did they add? I think they they added this machete instead of a like crowbar or it was like something, whatever other melee weapon. And these five small boxes. And now it costs six euros. It costed one dollar, guys. The inflation is real. I'm telling you. It do be like that. Do I even have enough food here? Well, I have these juicy steaks. And I got some berries. Yikes. Okay. Let's go for more waves. Wave 37. Kefir is generous with the pay to win. Yeah. I mean, that pack was probably one of the best packs in the game, to be honest. At the very beginning of the game, getting like a few stacks of food was awesome. I remember I bought that thing a few times myself. Now for six boxes, like, it's not worth it. Like, nobody should be probably getting that. <laughs> but whatever. We should get a guaranteed purple card for 99 waves. Yes. Does anyone see that red glitch after the MGL and health warning? What? MGL glitch after the health uh, warning. I don't know what we're talking about. I don't get it. Yeah, that card does not despawn, so I did not lose a blue card. I thought I did, but I didn't. If you're desperate for purple machete, then hell yeah, you should open purple crates. <sighs> Not really, I guess. Again, I'm opening them up for the content. Other than that, like, literally no other reason. You know, purple cards look better on the thumbnail, and it's like, it's more interesting for me to open up purple cards. Guys, would you want me to open up, like, five brown instead? And you guys will say, of course, yes, I open up five brown. No, I mean, purple cards are better to open up than five brown. Why don't you use bandages instead? Because it's easier to heal here with first aid kits if I don't mess things up. Like, check this out, for example, and I'll die here during this wave, because the armor might break. But hey, there we go, we did this, now I just use one first aid kit and we're done. And the health is kind of back at full, so I don't make here any mistakes. Or, I mean, if you don't have first aid kits, you can use bandages here, it doesn't really matter what you use here. 
Use whatever you have available. Please give me tips to rich and last on Earth. I mean, a gun. To me, it's so long to collect. You were just saying that you were doing 99 waves and I am doing... And I'm clearing the police department incorrectly. And now you're saying that you need tips on how to get guns. You do be like that. As I said, make sure to check out the free-to-play playlist. I already told that to you, mate. Link is in the description. Whatever, I'm picking that stuff up. That's it, I did it. I've picked up everything. It's like, eat your microphone for purple mod. Every live stream. <laughs> You'll tell me to eat that microphone. One day I'll eat it. If this video gets... 3 billion likes, I will eat my microphone. And I'm still holding my fingers crossed here, so it doesn't matter, right? I'm still not gonna eat it. I'm still not gonna uh, hold the end of the bargain, even if this video gets 3 billion likes. I'm not gonna eat my microphone. Why, do you think I'm stupid? Still only 3 blue at wave 45! Ladies and gentlemen, it's actually uh, sad. It is actually sad. Um. Well, hopefully we'll get a bunch of cards at the end. Because this might be one of the worst police departments that uh, they'll ever do. Bodies despawned. Nobody despawned. It despawned. I picked everything up. Nothing despawned. I've I've picked up that card a while ago. It didn't despawn, guys. Electronics and all are just the sound muffle, says Matthew Spellman. What? Excuse me? What do you mean? I'm a bit lost. Still only three blue at wave 50. Guys, it will honestly probably be the worst police department that I've ever done. Bro. When you eat your mic, electronics and all, or oh, just the sand muffle. Oh, you mean the... The thing. I mean, I'll probably have to eat the electronics and the... The, the mic arm as well. I'll eat it all. Heck, I'll even need the computer. If I'm told to eat the microphone, I don't only eat the foam. I'll eat everything. The electronics, the arm, the cables, everything. Throw some Maggie on it, yes indeed. <laughs> For it to taste better. I can't believe it. Dude, we're actually getting trash loot! Wave 50 and still only 3 blue. That is actually horrible. That is actually horrible. Did I just break my grenade launcher there? I think I did. I think I just broke it. Okay, let's speed some things up. Like, eat your chair for a purple machete mod. Excuse me. Okay, 
Okay, so after this wave, let's pick up a few cards. Okay, let's heal up. A blue card! Yes, finally, four blue! Better than three. Totally better than three cards. Okay, this, this, and this. Still only four in wave 56. That's horrible. That is horrible. I have heard some people say that they, they've gotten like only, what, six or something blue after 99 waves. So, I mean, it is possible to get nothing. It's like, would you pay 100 bucks for the helicopter if it ever comes out? Three years ago, maybe yes. Now, I really doubt that. It depends what content we get there. And it depends how we get the helicopter. But probably no. Probably not really. I mean, it would depend. Again, it depends on the content and on what kind of things we can get there. So I'd have to think about it. If it's locked just behind the hundred dollars thing and that's it, you can't get it any other way, then no. Like, I'll be trying to grind it myself, or as much as I can. So, I don't know, probably not. Unless, as I said, like, we unlock, like, some crazy content. Then maybe... Okay, seven blue! Dude, we just had four, now we are at seven? Just after a few waves? Bruh! Of zombies, the brawlers. So we are getting a decent amount of blue, ladies and gents. You get access to tungsten bars. So what's the point of these tungsten bars? Like, what do they do? It's not content. Like, tungsten bars are not content. Like, as I said, if we unlock Bunker Charlie, maybe then I'd spend 100 buckaroos. I don't know. I'd open up maybe a GoFundMe campaign, guys. For the hundred bucks for the helicopter, if you guys want me to get it. <laughs> the go find me, the crow fund campaigns or whatever other the things there are. Kickstarter, right? That'd be on Kickstarter. Yikes. Absolutely yikes. But again, it would all depend from you guys if you'd want me to get that helicopter fast enough. I mean, when ATV came out... I had to spend... I don't know how much. I don't remember. Up to 200 bucks, I guess. 150, 200, I don't know. 100, 200, I don't remember. On those caps. To get the ATV ASAP. Because I knew that those videos would perform great. So it was worth it to spend that amount of money on on that. On a video or whatever. But now, even if they add the helicopter, it's not going to be worth it. Like, if I'll spend 100 bucks on the chopper, on the helicopter... The video won't get enough views. Anyways. Maybe. I don't know. Again, it would depend what that helicopter does. If it's just the helicopter that unlocks tungsten and you don't do anything with that tungsten, then it's pointless. So, I don't know. It would all depend. Everything would depend. Okay, let's do a few more waves and then let's gather those cards again.
Okay, you know what? Let's do one more wave. I wanted to pick up the cards now, but... Let's do perhaps one more wave. Go boomers. One more wave. Definitely maybe waited a bit too long. Maybe some of the cards have despawned. Maybe. Kickstart might last under the helicopter. Kefir will be stealing that for sure. Maybe. Imagine Kefir opens up a campaign on Kickstart. Like, let's raise a million dollars and we will release the helicopter. Like, okay. That'd be crazy. Okay, nine blue, ladies and gentlemen. Whew, not that horrible. At least we'll be able to open up one purple. At least that. I'll do one more wave and then I'll pick up the cards. We'll probably need the suburbs to assemble the helicopter, maybe. Yeah. No, I broke the grenade launcher again! Disappointed! That's meme. The disappointed meme. It's the guy from the script. He wasn't supposed to read disappointed. Like it was him being disappointed, but he read disappointed from the from the script. It's disappointed. So yeah. Oh my goodness. Almost exploded myself. I feel like doing 99 waves is just too grindy and repetitive. Will you also do a second run of Bunker Bravo? Uh, I mean, Last on Earth is literally the definition of grinding repetitiveness. Like, literally, I don't know a more repetitive and more grindy game. Like, that's literally Last on Earth's file for me. Like, if there were genres of games, you know, like RPG, uh, FPS, uh, strategies, like, literally, grinding repetitiveness should be, like, genre of Last on Earth, because that's what this game is all about. Like, there's nothing to do in it. You just grind. And repeat. That's what this game is about. That's the main feature of this game. You grind here. Without grinding, there's nothing to do. So you grind. People play this game for grind. Last on Earth should be named only grind on Earth. The last grind on Earth. The never ending grind. Settlement is all grind, baby. Yes, indeed. The settlement. We've played in the settlement today, guys. So before somebody says, I can do grind the settlement. Yes, we grinded in the settlement today already. We have grinded there. I'm too late. Have you grinded your settlement today? Cat said. Another thing you just broke. Guys, it shot three shots for no reason. I didn't tell it to shoot three times, but it just did on its own. Just stupid. Sometimes the game just does that. It freezes and... Yeah. Not my bad. I've already broken here three or four grenade launchers. Kind of disgusting, if you ask me. It's like you're really a disappointment. I do look like that. Another blue card. 12 blue. Hell yeah. Hey, I might be a disappointment, but I just got 12 blue cards. So I can sleep peacefully. That I got 12 blue cards today. And what I'll do with them, I'll exchange them for purple. There we go. Absolutely not a disappointment. Oh 
Oh no. Go and drop the dumb shield. Okay, we got 20 more waves, ladies and gents. 20 more waves. Okay, let's do a few more waves and then maybe I'll use a few mines. Because I know that some of you want me to use those mines. So I'll use up like one or two mines just to show that hey, those mines work. And for those that have never used mines in police department, I want to show you how to use them. Oh, no! Drop the shield! The grenade launcher is going to break. Grenade launcher is gonna break. Goodbye. So what wave is it? But let's start using those mines on wave 85. Is it wave 85? It's wave 83. Let's do a few more waves. And speaking of 83, we have 13 cards. Because 83 and 13, three at the end. Forget it. picked up everything there is to pick up and it's wave 85 nice or it's gonna be wave 86 doesn't matter whatever wave that is let's get the let's get the the, the, the goods and things weapons let's probably get like three mines okay there we go I'm gonna get three land mines and I'll drop one over here hopefully they don't escape happy garlic do I get more loot if I use the brutalizer nah it's the same There we go, that worked. Wave number one with the mines worked. So yeah, that's how you use mines. Sometimes they escape. So always be ready. Even if you like have 100 mines, always have like at least like 10 guns with you or something, just in case. Because sometimes they escape, especially at later waves. Not always, but sometimes they do. For some people, they escape quite often. So just be careful. Be ready. Happy garlic. You do it like that. And wave 88. Did it. We did it. So yeah, that's how you use mines. I'm not going to use any more mines because I want to kind of save maybe more mines. Maybe one day we'll use like 99 mines for 99 waves or something. But that's the idea for the future. We have already done that thing twice. I think we've already cleared 99 waves using mines twice. But I, I'll do it for the third time. Once we gather enough cards. There go wave 90. Wa uh, wave 90. We're almost done. What Karoos? We are almost done. Okay, let's deal with these uh, two riot zombies and water. Okay, we need to eat that stuff. Let me store some water. How do you have 140 health from VIP? From the VIP bonus. No. Okay, that's better. Sheesh. Can't see the timer, mate. There is no timer on 
during this wave. Like, I tried to speedrun it, but it wasn't like a speedrun. It was pretty long. For some reason, it took us longer than expected. I read too much chat. Usually when I'm speedrunning, I read less ch less chat. It's not like I'm actually speedrunning speedrunning here, but you got the point. I spent lots of time checking the chat here, so we were a lot slower during these 99 waves than... than usual. Oh, lord. More red zombies. Oh, no. Drop that shield. Just drop it. Just get some help. <sighs> Ooh, another blue. 15. So even though the first waves were garbage, right? Felt bad. We've gotten like only three blue up to wave 50 or 60. Now we have 15 cards, so it's pretty cool. It's like, will you eat your microphone? I've been spam... I'm, I mean, telling you to eat your microphone for 84 years. Unsubscribed and disliked, says Cat. I'm sorry. To disappoint you. But I'm not eating the microphone. That's it. I'll be upfront and honest with you. I am not eating the microphone. That is it. I will not eat it. Don't let the intrusive thoughts win, sire. Guys, I'm not eating the microphone. What do you mean the intrusive thoughts? It's not an intrusive thought to eat a microphone. I'm not eating it. Or maybe. As a snack. If you eat the microphone, would it be a dessert or lunch? Lunch, dinner, breakfast, what would it be? Depends probably at what time of day you eat it. Maybe. Maybe. I'm playing at 20 FPS. Nice. Congratulations, mate. How ungrateful there are people that have 3 FPS and you're complaining about 20. I mean, you didn't complain to be fair. There we go. We have got uh, more blue cards. We're at 17. So who would have thought that a wave uh, 60, we had only three blue or like wave 55. You got the point. Let's make it more dramatic. At wave 60, we had only three blue. Now we are at 17. That's crazy. That is actually ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen. Happy garlic armor. Why is it happy garlic now? What did I do to become garlic? One more wave, probably. And this wave had a lot of zombies. Many more than usual. Good die, schmucks. Got it, ladies and gentlemen. We absolutely got it. We destroyed those 99 waves. And are you ready? We have gotten a decent amount of blue. I mean, 17 blue is it's, it's really good. It's really, really good. Could have been a lot worse. As I said, we had only three blue at wave 60. So things are going our way. Let's exchange all brown for green. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And then all green for blue. Oh, wow. We have gotten 24... 24 blue. Almost 25. I'm sure if we run around the police department, we can get the 25 blue. Okay. Okay, okay. Not 100, only 99. I didn't say that we did 100 waves. I said 99 waves. You know what's worse? Changing them for purple. It is actually horrible. I'll probably open up just one purple. I don't need to open up two purple. I mean, one purple or two purple is the same. Yo, psych, when is the next come video coming? Tomorrow. I guess. 
Again, can't promise anything. Maybe after tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow there will be another live stream. But there will be more Scum Spiral for sure. I can guarantee that. I have a few Scum Spiral videos ready already. So no worries. There will be more Scum Spiral for sure. 100%. Absolutely. But why not 100? Because you can't go more. You can only do 99 waves. You can't do 100. Even exchanging all of those green for blue is not worth it. Kinda. Um, my dude is thirsty. How about beans? I think my character wants to vomit from these beans. But hey, no one's asking his opinion, right? You're told to eat beans, you'll eat beans. Where's the nail gun from? From the VIP. It'll despawn anyways, we could just delete it in, but whatever. Let's keep it there and let's get ready, guys, to open up at least one purple. Are you ready? Why doesn't the character poop? <laughs> I don't know. How would I know? Ladies and gentlemen. But that's a valid question. Developers still haven't done the, fuel, the full Q&A, right? They've done only one part of the Q&A. They haven't done the second part of the Q&A. Like, somebody should have asked them, like, why doesn't our character poop? Why do we only pee? That's it. That would have been better. All right, that's what we need to know. Why did you quit the previous free-to-play account before crafting the boat, says Glimot? Because it was good. Speaking of free-to-play, there will be a new free-to-play video tomorrow. Why doesn't a character sleep? I don't know either. We need to ask the developers. On the Q&A, why doesn't the character sleep? I mean, he's kind of sleeping when you don't play the game, probably. Then he sleeps, I guess, when you don't look. Unless you never sleep and you're always on the game, then, then he doesn't sleep. You have to go to the Out the House to unlock the poop DLC. <laughs> Couldn't have said better myself, Matthew Spellman. Yes, you can poop. But you need to have the Out the House first. And to get it, you need to have the ATV. So, yeah. So there's that. Okay, guys, let's open up the purple cards. We'll open up just one purple. We will open up just one, one purple. Bleep. And let's go. Let's see what kind of goods we can get here. One purple and four blue. We'll start from the blue. We've gotten a full set of armor. This VSS double magazine blueprint. We've gotten a tactical stock for the VSS. We've gotten a reinforced stock for the Winchester and an extended magazine for the Glock. And what did we get inside of this purple card? An AK large magazine blueprint. Okay, at least we didn't get any Winchesters. That's cool. We have gotten some blueprints for the Winchesters. Oh, no, we did get one Winchester. I take my words back. We did get one Winchester. At least we didn't get any Winchesters inside of this purple card. So that is something. All right. That is something. Okay, I'm sure we'll have to drop some stuff in the choppers. There's no way everything will fit. All of this armor. Okay, let's go to the chopper. Disappointment. I mean, it, these are purple crates. I don't know what I expected. I just don't have one mod, but it doesn't mean that, hey, I didn't know what I was signing up for. It's not like I was hoping to get that purple machete mod. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. It's fine. Right? We'll get another one next time. <laughs> In the next life. In the next lifetime. <laughs> it's fine, guys. As I said, I really don't need that purple machete mod. I'm fine with it. I made peace with it. I'm never going to get it. It's okay. It's like you're just pre playing the reverse psychology. No, I'm not. I'm 
being honest. I don't want it. I don't want that purple, purple thing. Purple machete mod. So you guys have opened up the crates. That is kind of epic. Okay, let's bring the loot back to the base. I have it, it's not really that great. I mean, if we were using lots of melee weapons then, but even then we don't need those melee weapons, bruh. Who uses them? We don't use them. Dang, I use melee weapons. I know guys, a lot of you use melee weapons. Like everybody uses melee weapons. I would use melee weapons too if I wasn't streaming. Like the only reason I play here, the way I play here is because I am streaming here. Nobody wants to see me uh, farm those things with, with spears. Like it makes no sense. It's not interesting guys, it's not fun. So that's the reason why I use guns. Like, I'm explaining to those that don't know. The reason why I, like, blast guns here and there on, like, basic locations because... That generates more fun content. This way I get to do more content rather than, like, let's say, spending an hour clearing Bunker Alpha efficiently. Right? This way you'll... Get to see more content instead of just doing, like, us... Uh, instead of just clearing one location, I'll clear more. And it's more fun. Stream is mo the stream moves faster, even though it's a waste of weapons. For the efficiency, I've made lots of free-to-play videos. And I've explained how to be efficient in the game. You underestimate what I want to see. Get those spears out, says the A. Fair enough. I mean, I'm sure some of you would like to see me grind with spears. I'm not saying that you wouldn't like that. But I'm just saying, every time like I try to be more efficient in the game, every time I play here on my free-to-play account, or whenever I try to be more efficient here on this account, like usually the viewers just like, not plummet, but we lose about like 30-40% of viewers most of the time. It depends on, on what we do. As soon as I stop using guns, as soon as I like get just melee weapons, a lot of the people leave. And I get it, it is boring. So yeah. So that is the reason why we use guns. And that's it, I just finished the sentence and the music here that played ended on a note. Like, ping. It's pretty cool. Uh, this, and let's drop the steel plate. Nope. Hi, Cyrix, uh, says Zeus. I was trying to clear Bunker Bravo during event. I barely able to make it right before the liquidator gate, but I died. Now the radiation is too high. I have deactivated dirt pa uh, per help. I mean, it depends what kind of guns you use there. How did you die of radiation before getting to the liquidator during the event? I mean, you'll have to restart. If the, if the radiation is now too high, there's nothing you can do besides just restarting the bunker. You have to go there and click on the terminal again and start it all over again. And you have to be faster. Like, if you're using Winchesters and melee weapons, you're not going to be able to do it. Like, even, like, maybe unmodded blocks might not be enough for that. Or maybe it'll be enough. Like, you need to have, like, at least, like, decent weapons. Like, at least some, like, modded M16s. Like, at least maybe some modded blocks, you can clear that stuff. Maybe with just unmodded blocks, you can still clear it. But you have to be kind of fast and keep moving there. But yeah, if the radiation is full there, if you're just dying as soon as you enter it, like, there's nothing much you can do. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Boom! We got more weapons. Plus, we have some more blue cards to open up. So, how many more guns we can get here? We can get 26 more guns. Plus, we can get, like, at least probably 30 guns. Maybe at least 20 guns or something. Well, at least zero. From zero to 34. We can get here from zero to 34 guns. Inside of this, uh, inside of these cards. So yeah, 26 here, a decent amount of guns here. So we have lots of guns. Use radiation pills. When there's a lot of radiation and use the radiation pills, you'll still lose lots of health. So you'll have to use a lot of radiation pills. And that liquidator has a lot of health, so it'll take quite a while to kill him. So I don't know, it depends. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining here. We are going to be wrapping it up. Thanks everybody for being here. See you tomorrow with another 
video or that'll be a live stream. I think tomorrow we might actually uh, play some The Walking Zombie too. So we might do that, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Gesser. Oh yeah, Joe Gesser. Absolutely forgot about it. Uh, let's go for the Joe Gesser, ladies and gents. Geo Gesser. Ladies and gentlemen. Little bit of Geo Gesser. So yeah, tomorrow we might play some... The Walking Zombie 2. I'll just remove the music from the game and that's it. Because last time I got the copyright claim for the... For the Walking Zombie 2. Bullcrap. Absolute bullcrap. Unbelievable. You forgot to eat the microphone, sorry. Stop it! Stop it. Absolutely stop it. Let's drink some water to stay hydrated. So, yeah. The soil looks a uh, Brazilian. Let's go Brazil. No, I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. I have no clue where we are. It's got to be somewhere in Europe. Of course. Let's see the sign. What is written on that sign? Brater Rinschleiden 306B. Where is this? It is somewhere in Europe for sure. Um, I would say that it's below Poland. Like somewhere in Czechia. Or something. Okay, we still have enough time. I'm going... Oh, dude, I'm gonna mess it up. Was it Czechia? It was uh, Luxembourg. What? Well, Elisa wasn't knocked out. Elisa wasn't knocked out. But it did look a little bit kind of German. Okay, what is this? What is written here? I have no idea. I mean, again, I'm thinking Malaysia, Taiwan, uh, maybe Indonesia, maybe uh, whatever, Cambodia, basically somewhere in Asia. not that I'll be very surprised well I'm gonna guess this I'm on the last spot though if it doesn't work I'm gonna go to another continent well I, sw I went to another continent and that was smart I switched the continent ladies and gentlemen that was in Guatemala so at the very end I switched my guess and it wasn't knocked out because I would have been no nah, I wouldn't have probably been knocked out because I guessed Thailand and somebody else guessed further than me I guess well in any case we did it we moved we moved on we have here three chances to change our guess and I changed it Sant Antoni Sant Rafael okay EL 600A is it somewhere in Spain or Portugal uh, e L E L N N E Saint Antoni. I I think it's then in Spain, Saint Antoni. I don't know, man. Maybe it's not Spain, ladies and gents. I don't think it's Spain. I'm guessing. Okay, maybe it is Spain. Couldn't find San Antonio. San Antonio sounds like a big city. Oh, 
Oh no, it was here on this island. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Well, I would have never guessed that. I would have never guessed that. In any case, at least we were close enough. Okay, somebody's drying the clothes. Can we guess what country is this just by judging by their clothes? By their drying clothes? I don't know. Okay, so I assume we're in Africa, but where? But where? It's pretty huge. Okay, let me on the road. Let me get on the road. Where's the sun? Okay, so the sun is in the north, kind of. So we got to be in the south. So I'm going to choose a more southern part of Africa. And I'm going to wait till the very end. Because now people are guessing there. They might change their guesses. So I'm just going to guess at the very last second. And I'll go a little bit higher than South Africa. Let's go here. Might be Botswana. On the last spot, I got knocked... Oh no, I progressed further. I wasn't knocked out. I wasn't knocked out. It was here in the middle. I wasn't knocked out. Somebody guessed even further. Oof. <sighs> okay. Uh, I mean, I'm thinking... Australia. Is it Australia? Wait, but wait, are they going... know if they're driving on the left or on the right i don't know how do i judge this by this car is it back or is it the front i mean it looks like it's the back here it looks like that's the front then so they're going on the right side so it can't be australia because in, in do they drive on the left side in australia i'm so lost right now where's the sun the sun is in the south we're in the north wait so we are in the north here whoa that's pretty tough I mean, I can only guess here-ish. Venezuela, Colombia. No, no. I'm changing my guess to something else. No, I changed it. That's good. That's good. I changed my guess to something else. It was here in Senegal. Okay. They drive upside down in Australia. Stop it. And I'm like, is that true? Do we have any Australian viewers here? Can you confirm? Do you drive upside down? Murmansk. Murmansk. Dude, I know that. Murmansk. Murmansk. Dude, I've heard Murmansk so many times. Is it... E... Is it... It can't be somewhere in Russia. Murmansk. Dude, I've heard Murmansk so many times. Bruh. More times than I'd like. I've heard it so many times. I won't find it, dude. I'll need to go further. I won't find it, dude. I've heard it so many times. Like, more times than you can imagine. It's written in... With Celeric and Latin letters. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. It's not Bulgaria. And now I got knocked out. It's somewhere in Russia. Oh, yeah, it was Murmansk. It was all the way up there. God damn, boy, I'm an idiot. But I've heard it so many times because it's at the basically on the border of Finland almost. Damn, boy. I was so close. I've heard it so many times, but I didn't know where it was. I didn't know where it was. Yikes. I went for Bulgaria. Because, like, here they use uh, Latin and Cyrillic letters. So I thought it's that. But, hey. <sighs> well, we can do one more guess, I guess. Let's go for one more round, ladies and gentlemen. We got the top three, but... We got knocked out. Okay, there are only two people here. If we don't get any more people, we will be skedaddling. Three people. Excuse me. Well, I guess we are wrapping it up. We don't see more players here. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining. See you tomorrow with another... 
uh, video I want to say with another GeoGuessr video. Tomorrow there will be a live stream probably. So see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for joining here. Have a great day. Thanks for hanging out and uh, take care. And what else can I say? I don't know. Have a nice, I don't even know what day of the week it is. Probably Thursday. It is Thursday. I knew it. Didn't even have to check it. So take care, ladies and gents. Take care. Peace out, everybody. Take care. Have a nice Thursday. Or for you, maybe it's Friday for some of you now. In any case, it's like for me, it's still Tuesday. Take care. Take care. <laughs> take care, everybody.